Hi all, welcome to this potential icon predictions video. Obviously some of them have apparently been leaked and um, some we know are official in the form of Cantina and um, being the most notable one. But if we could smash the like so it would be awesome folks. Um, as I say, these are just my predictions in regards to all of these. So if you can smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at Jesus Legend. All links are down below for posting the channel and social media links as always. And comment down below if any of these potential icons um, excite you in any shape or form. So we start off with David Villa, um, the Valencia, Barcelona, um, Spain, Vissel Kobe, um, New York City FC um, forward. 87 base card we've gone for him. Um, for me, um, for a baby icon, looks quite half decent. 89 pace, 86 shot, 66 pass, 87 dribbling, 40 defending, and 80 physical. The mid being 91 pace, 89 shot, 79 pass, 90 dribbling, 43 defending, 84 physical. Then the prime, 93 pace, 91 shot, 81 pass, 92 dribbling, 44 defending, 86 physical. And then his prime icon moments, 94 pace, 93 shot and dribbling, 82 pass, 45 defending, and 88 physical. I feel 92, 93 is where he will roughly cap out at. Um, his best ever card for a base card was like 93 rated at Valencia, so that's kind of what we've based that on. Um, but we'll see what happens with him. I think he would be a very uh, fun, usable card. Um, I've always enjoyed David Villa cards. But it all comes down to where they kind of put his base and then kind of progressively up, um, improve it from there. But I feel 87, 90, 92, 93 could happen, or it could go 89, um, 87, 89, 91, 93. Uh, Jacinto Fichetti, um, I predicted him last year, um, if you've ever followed the Classic X High Squad, he's always in it, whatever happens, and he's got some godly stats, he's like 91, 92 rated usually for the cards um, for his like Classic X High Squad, and I feel that's kind of where they will, usually that's what the indicator is for the card, and I feel that's what we'll see here. Um, but 87 base card with 90 pace, 61 shot, 68 pass, 69 dribbling, 90 defending and 84 physical. His mid 92 pace, 63 shot, 70 pass, 71 dribbling, 92 defending, 86 physical. The prime 94 pace, 65 shot, 72 pass, 73 dribbling, 94 defending, 88 physical. And his prime icon moments, 96 pace, 67 shot, 74 pass, 75 dribbling, 96 defending and 90 physical. Very, very um, impressive card. Played his career at Inter and Italy, so expect obviously the cards to be based around that. Um, played in the 60s and 70s, we always get like an old school icon. Um, now with Vidic, obviously X Man United, Spartak, Moscow and Inter. We would assume maybe all four cards may be based around Manchester United, could even have maybe his base around Spartak potentially. Um, but regardless, I feel looking at him, um, uh, base version, 86 rated, 70 pace, 90 defending physical, 49, defend, uh, 49 shot, 59 passing dribbling. Um, he always seemed to have like around 86, 88 for like his best cards. Yes, his best ever card was 94, but it comes down to where they want to kind of work around it from there. His mid, 73 pace, 93 defending, 92 sh physical, 51 shot, 61 passing dribbling. Prime 75 pace, 53 shot, 63 pass and dribbling, 95 defending, 94 physical, and 92 pay, 92 prime icon moments, 77 pace, 55 shot, 65 pass and dribbling, 97 defending, and 96 physical. If they were to adjust in any shape or form, maybe plus one on everything, 87, 89, 91, 93 I feel, but it comes down to... Um, and also the pace they may increase marginally as well, they may um, increase potentially by say 5 on every card, so it could be 75, 78, um, 80, 82 potentially, um, it all depends how you, plus with chem style as well you can boost up um, accordingly. Cafu, one right back that everyone seems to be going hyped about if happens, um, very quality right back back in the day, gives you another alternative to Carlos Alberto. Um, if you've tried him at all, but um, with Cafu, his base, we'd assume maybe say around 85 pace, 62 shots, 78 pass, 83 dribbling and defending, 80 physical. His mid, 86 pace, maybe even a bit more, um, like 87, 88, 65 shot, 80 pass, 86 dribbling and defending, 83 physical. 
his prime 91 um, overall, 88 pace, 88 dribbling, defending, 82 pass, 85 physical and 68 shot. With his prime icon moments, probably celebrating one of his World Cup wins, because um, he's won two. Um, but 90 pace, 90 dribbling, 90 defending, 84 pass, 87 physical and 70 shot. He may go up a little bit more in some stats. But I was trying to roughly base on what his career was like, and like if you try, like you can't really use past FIFA's to, um, to kind of help you uh, as much as you'd like because it's the rating system's different then to what it is now, and the mechanics and all that are very. But I tried to, like he was a very quick player back in the day. But we'll see what happens. Obviously, um, Ashley Cole is someone else that I think could be up. Um, a good shoot because like, there's an assumption England might get another um, icon um, I thought left back wise kind of gives you another option as it were um, his base maybe maybe when he first started off his career maybe say Arsenal 85 pace 60 shot 80 pass 17 dribbling 83 defending and 80 physical his mid maybe as he left Chelsea potentially 87 pace 62 shot 82 pass 81 dribbling 86 defending 83 physical his prime maybe when he was at peak his powers at Arsenal potentially, 90 pace, 64 shot, 84 passing dribbling, 88 defending and 86 physical. And then prime icon moments maybe the peak his powers when he was at Chelsea, 92 shot, eh, sorry, 92 pace, 67 shot, 87 passing dribbling, 91 defending and 89 physical. I feel 86, 88, 90, 92 seems logical. Just kind of basing off what his cards generally were, like 85, 86 were kind of like his consistent cards. He had some really good um, special boosts given like 88s, 91s back in the day as well, so it comes down to that as well. Chavi um, could be appealing but not appealing at the same time. It depends what the meta is, of course, but his base is 75 pace, 77 shot, 91 pass, 86 dribbling, 71 defending, 65 physical. Now you've got to remember obviously his stats will kind of mirror what he was in past FIFAs. There will just be maybe minor boosts to kind of make him look more appealing. Um, kind of maybe base it on like informs, team of the seasons, team of the years and so forth so keep that in mind. Uh, the mid 78 pace, 80 shot, 94 pass, 89 dribbling, 73 defending, 68 physical. His prime 80 pace, 83 shot, 96 pass, 91 dribbling, 76 defending, and 70 physical. And his prime icon moments 82 pace, 85 shot, 98 pass, 93 dribbling, 78 defending, 72 physical. I expect him to kind of be like Pierlo, um, kind of like mirror identical, nearly with some stats as well. So you'll kind of see a similar comparison between Xavi and uh, Pirlo, but I feel 88, 90, 92, 94 seems logical, and I feel range wise it's probably going to be maybe potentially around that as well. Um, mainly because most FIFA he was like around 87, 88, 89, and he had quite a few team of seasons, team of the years to kind of help his case. Philip Lamb of Bayern Munich, I would say it's going to be one of these players that's going to have potentially three different positions which could make him very very interesting because his base when he first started out was as a left back 82 pace, 60 shot, 86 pass, 85 dribbling, 88 defending and 74 physical when he moved to CDM he was a little bit slower but um, um, you don't want to hamper him too much because you want to make him at least usable and appealing. We've given him 81 pace, 63 shot, 88 pass, 88 dribbling, 90 defending and 75 physical. He was more experienced then, but also when he was a CDM, that was when Pep kind of played him there rather than as a right back. Um, peak of his powers when he was at prime in Bayern, 83 pace, 66 shot, 90 pass and dribbling, 92 defending, 77 physical and then maybe either peak of his powers at Bayern or in Germany with like the World Cup. You've got 85 pace, 70 shot, 93 pass, 94 dribbling, 96 defending and 80 physical. To be honest, the prime icon moments, I feel as long as it's got over 85 pace. And kind of those type of stats could definitely be very, very appealing, even though it would probably take you to January, February to kind of unlock that card. Um, because that's probably when they'll release it. But it would still feel rather appealing regardless. Um, but even the base or the mid, I'm sure, with the right stats could be appealing. Kempes, um, another old school icon, I predicted him last year. Um, didn't happen, but apparently the rumours are going around that he will happen. 
uh, base, probably when he was in Argentina. Um, 86 overall, with 77 pace, 88 shot, 74 pass, 87 dribbling, 40 defending, 85 physical. Feels um, pretty um, half decent with that. Then the mid, 88 overall with 80 pace, net shot, net dribbling, 77 defending, 41 defending, 88 physical. His prime probably when he was at Valencia, um, when he was most known to European fans, um, very impressive striker for Valencia. With 83 pace, 94 shot, 79 pass, 93 dribbling, 43 defending and 92 physical. And then prime icon moments probably when he scored in the World Cup final. 86 pace, 97 shot, 82 pass, 95 dribbling, 45 defending, 95 physical. Could be a very, very delicious card. And in all honesty, that's the type of card all you need is like a catalyst or a shadow. And you could really boost the pace up significantly to make him a very end game striker. I feel if you've got those shooting, dribbling, and physical stats on him, it also comes down to if he fits the meta. But um, definitely could be um, one striker that like, appeals to a lot of people. Um, and at Canton, obviously. People were speculating if he does happen, it will be as a centre forward. We've just went striker just because it's it's easy enough to position change up to that. Um, his base we've gone with 88 rated, and also worth noting in his um, cards in FIFA when you get the classic kicks eye, his prime is 93, which is what we've based this all on. This is pretty much what the stats are mirroring. We've just adjusted down for the base and the mid and then increased for the uh, prime icon moments but his base when he was in France in early his career 89 pace 86 shot 82 pass 84 dribbling 50 defending and 85 physical mid maybe when he was at Manchester start Manchester United or maybe in Leeds 91 pace and shot 85 pass 88 dribbling 55 defending 89 physical then prime 93 pace, 94 shot, 87 pass, 90 dribbling, 58 defending, 92 physical. That is basically what that st those stats are when you calculate it into um, stats. And um, for what I've noticed, and then prime icon moments, 95 pace, 96 shot, 89 pass, 91 dribbling, 60 defending, and 95 physical. Obviously, nothing's a given, but we're just trying to go off what we've um, done for homework within the game because you never know if they do go that kind of way. But I feel. Cantona could be very very juicy. I know some people are predicting maybe only 91, 92 best but we'll see what happens um, with him. And then Samuel I2 is the final card, 86 um, base card, maybe Tim at Mallorca, 89 pace, 88 shot, 73 pass, 80 dribbling, 41 defending and 77 physical. Maybe Turkey um, for his mid, 91 pace, 90 shot, 75 pass, 82 dribbling, 43 defending and 79 physical. Prime maybe being when it was at Barca, 93 pace and shot, 77 pass, 84 def dribbling, 45 defending and 82 physical. And then maybe his prime icon moments maybe when he won the treble at Inter. 95 pace, 95 shot, 79 pass, 86 dribbling, 47 defending and 85 physical. Try and base a lot of his cards off what he's had in previous FIFAs, but also try and juice them up just enough so that they're at least appealing. You've also got to remember he had some very insane cards. He had like his FIFA 13 was quite um, insane um, that was like even when he was in Russia for Ansi Mashalaka but we'll see what comes up of everything as I said these are all just predictions end of the day and we'll try to have a bit of fun and give you guys a bit of um, discussion in the chat as, in the comments as well see what you think and if we're on the right ballpark then we're laughing as I said these are just the 10 that I'm roughly predicting apparently there's 10 new icons in total because it's 90 just now and apparently it's 100 when you um, read through the um, EA's um, articles regarding icons. Apparently, eight have been doing the rounds, and from there, it's trying to work out which two of us may happen. Um, we've just kind of went with who we feel um, could happen. But we'll see what happens, folks. Let me know in the comments below who you think. Smash like, always, sub to channel, can you follow me to it? G's Legend, and I'll catch you all later.